Alzheimer's disease is on the rise, and we all know we don't have really a way to treat it, to prevent it, to slow its progression. So we all care to find ways to really help us prevent or treat or slow down the progression of Alzheimer's disease. And we all know that Alzheimer's disease is driven in part by certain protein that accumulate in the brain, particularly in the aging brain. So we know who some of these culprits are. So now that we know we have a problem that we don't have a treatment for, we know some of the culprits that are driving this problem and this disease. If we can develop a drug to lower those toxic proteins, we are on the right path. My ultimate goal is to lower the level of a protein called tau because we know tau accumulates in Alzheimer and in dementia. And if we lower it, we can, you know, hopefully abrogate the, the toxicity of tau. Now, in order to do that, we're going to find something that we call a target because that's one thing, if you inhibit it, you can develop a drug. So when we look for a target, a target is a gene that we tested and we asked, is this gene, can it be drugged? And if it can be drugged, if we test it in that system, can we show it, that inhibiting it genetically can actually lower tau levels? And the answer is yes and yes. That means we found that we inhibit this gene NOAC1, we lower tau levels, so that makes it a target. And NOAC1 is an enzyme, a kinase, those are typically druggable. So through this whole study, we came up with a druggable target that's now poised to be used to develop a pharmaceutical.